What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as... Not Empire Total War, sorry. Um, Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off up on last time, we trounced the Dutch uh, fleet here with Horatio Nelson. So now the idea is to get them back to Liverpool, have them repair and refit, send these merchantmen out to trade, then we can crack on. Um, so I was originally going to use this army to land and take Amsterdam. Um, I've had a bit of a change of heart and I am going to send them, maybe not to defend Gibraltar, but to land and support um, Lisbon, Portugal, if I can get... Um, Portugal's already an ally, is it not? It's request an alliance. Oh, unfortunate. But I want to, I want to, um, what am I not, not, want, not want to defend Gibraltar, I would still like to get my um, navy down there. And my army down there, sorry, to contest. So I'm four away from research. Fencibles on the way down. Um, may as well build that great in Swansea. But I don't want a gunsmith because I'm not bothered about recruiting infantry in Swansea. I'll get a manufactory to reduce artillery. Ah, oh, the French Navy. So there's some frigates and a corvette just auto resolve. Oh, my fleet survived, but they're just going to be chased down. Say la vie. At the very least, um, at least none of my ships were captured by the French. And then we're pumping out lots of frigates like that. So I don't really want to have one massive fleet. I want to have um, a larger number of low to medium tier fleets. So it's good that I've got that um, port being built up in um, Scotland. So I can expand my navy. So let's take William Cornwallis and deposit him up in... Oh, I'm not building one in Glasgow. Well, I am now. So let's send these smaller ships to Portsmouth. Send this fleet over here to trounce these frigates, because at the very least I can repair them and ship them over to my own secondary fleets. Merchant... Oh, I, I recaptured one of my merchantmen. Now let's definitely get him back to probably... Bristol. Let's get this merchantman back on that trade spot. Along with... To be honest, these are still in quite reasonable condition. So let's send these two to this trade zone. Let's send this guy up to this trade zone, although he'll be out. It's a brig and a frigate, so let's send them up to Glasgow to be the start of a new fleet. And you got uh, George Elphiston with two fifth rates, which seem about right to me. And I've run out of money again. Fleet destroyed, but I've destroyed their fleet. Recruitment report, good. God, my income is abysmal. Um, so what's the best? Oh, it's because of this. I see. Let's end the turn. Um, at least we're going bankrupt, but I need to get Nelson back to obviously fight that French fleet, and I'll probably add those um, frigates to it, because it will be the... Oh, no. Are they going to blockade Portsmouth? The Bristol? And they're also going to blockade uh, Chatham Docks. So that fleet up in Scotland is going to come around and attack the Bristol... No, the London docks, sorry, and destroy that. Hopefully capture that ship for my own um, selfish reasons. Fortunately, the navy in... I'd like to have used the navy in Bristol to attack it, because they're the right size. I've got, a, a general, I've got an admiral there, and I've got two um, frigates. But it was not to be. God, the navy, they're Spanish. Spanish and the French are really pumping out ships. They might not be very capable ships, but they're pumping out lots of them. Yep, so now I am bankrupt, or nearly. So let's take... Drop you on there. Let's take the Merchantman Argyle and send him up to a trade region. Just out of the way. So that's Villeneuve's, that's um, Villeneuve's fleet, so I don't want to tangle with him. So Frigate... Fourth rate. Okay, so what I want to do 
is getting Nelson and his fleet back to Portsmouth to prepare to fight Villeneuve. Oh, I can't repair. I might have to fight Villeneuve right now. Um, but first thing I'm going to do is get William Cornwallis to sail around and then tackle Leon. I know he's only got one ship, but I've got... Well, he's only got one ship, so there's only so much manoeuvring he can do, and it won't be a very good ship. Frigate. I don't capture it, but I do sink them. And also, it does mean I do get some income. So, what have I got there? Or do I put, do I put William Cornwallis in to join with this fleet, and then attack this fleet here? Because they've got, they've got a gun of frigate. They've got a 122 gun ship of the line. I can survive for one turn. Then I'll get um, Nelson back over to attack. Well, no, it depends on where money goes. I might spend one some money um, repairing Nelson's fleet because I don't want to go to battle um, against the main French fleet with damage. And now I'm not going to go bankrupt because I've opened up Bristol. I should still be churning out frigates from Portsmouth every three turns. I know frigates aren't brilliant, but they're the sort of level of ships I need. And then when when um, London gets um, up to, up to snuff, I'll start dropping in second rates and first rates. But they do take a very long time to be recruited. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building so repair the fleet. Repair the fleet. Yeah, we can't build farms again because I've downloaded that. Ireland's built a trade port. Can't do anything there because I'm still recruiting. So they. Well, they're repairing. I might send them into La Havre just to. Because they were recruiting a ship, but now I've cancelled it. I actually might leave them in there. And Khan is completely open. So I could try and attack it, but now I want France to be... No, I want to, I want to attack France the proper way. Um, I'm definitely going to want barracks here, because I presume this will be where I can recruit my Highlanders. Ah, I can agree this farmland. Good. One more turn so I get um, national debt. So now I've got Arthur Wellesley sat there not really doing anything. Nope. Oh, for a minute I thought they were going to tear down my dock, but they are not. So then my navy that's currently sat in La Havre will come out and attack that frigate that's broccolating Bristol, and then my other Nelson's fleet will sail out to conquer or to destroy Villeneuve's fleet but yeah so mainly of all these all this naval escapades I've got going on is why I don't feel super comfortable with sailing a fleet all the way down to Spain just yet although to be honest I still might just need to land on the Batavian Republic because I have picked I know what I'm going to land on the Batavian Republic because I've just read I remember this game does have the Peninsula campaign if I want to fight the Peninsula campaign specifically take out the sneaky Dutch but first got some naval battles to get out of the way first yeah let the Spain Spanish do what the Spanish do I know I'm losing money so let's take these guys around it's just a Corvette oh wow well I'll take the Corvette <laughs> Okay, let's take Nelson's fleet with a fifth rate. <laughs> Ratio Nelson to sail on and hit Villeneuve. Pierre Charles Villeneuve. No, Villeneuve. Couple of, oh yeah, this should be fine. Scipion might be tricky. But let's fight. Um, but yes, 
when I knock out this decision will be a bit more strong. Um, I'd like to build up a another semi competent fleet. The radar map in the corner of the screen. Get out of here, you. So let's go second, first, second, uh, Nelson. Shannon, Queen, Echo, Group, Line of Stern, start off like this, and sail there. Sometimes they are, sometimes they ain't. So here's the French fleet, Junion, Artemis, Sérieux. They're sipping on 122 gun French ship of the line, which I would very much like to capture. So let's triple speed it a bit. And then let's. To be honest, how's my. There we go, if I do that. So these tiny ships are going to absorb some of the gunfire initially. But, you know, it's going to happen. Eventually I might lose some of my ships. Okay, so then let's get ready, because this little ship... Junyon or Junyon, 38 gun frigate, you're gonna get a pummel in. Oh no, Artemis has got it first. They've missed. To be honest, what I may ultimately do is hold fire at will with my ships as I sail, and I'm probably sailing too far away from the ships. No, I shall turn fire at will on. The sooner they reload, the sooner they can engage, they can keep engaging. Well, the accuracy of long range is terrible. Okay, so this is going to be where it's going to get tricky. There we go. Lots of damage. But they should at least start to get their own back. Nope, they're still deciding to engage the frigates. Let's hope that these little chaps will sink. Where's Nelson? Nelson's on that ship. There you go, starting to fire some actual shots onto their proper ships, although I don't like the speed at which my cannons are being destroyed. Nelson's engaging the frigate. So Scipion's currently taking no damage. So 
So one dragon to close the distance. You, your starboard battery. I'm going to hold on to you. You can engage the flagship if you reload in time. Which I think you will. Not sure how good broadsides are at range, but... Fire! So I'm picking on the smaller ships towards the rear of the formation, as they are doing to me. And then you got my little frigate firing chain shot. Missing horrifically, and this is the problem now. They're getting to a position where they can chase me down. round shot so you can actually engage targets. Same with you. Yeah, they can still go at a reasonable speed if they go in that direction, so I'll deal with that. I'll accept that, sorry. Yeah, well, you guys may as well, you might as well keep firing chain. There's a cheeky little frigate. Try to get some uh, chain shot into Scipion. Or do they then go curve around? Yeah, I think that's what they do. These guys snake around in this direction to try to form a new line to respond to these chaps. Are they trying to board me? Give them a blast of grape. Just because if I keep going that way, eventually I'll go into the wind and my formation will stop. Whereas if I did that, at least they will move around. You should keep firing chain shot. Because you might hit that uh, hit that 74 gun ship of the line. Maybe just mast it. Nah. Okay, let's triple speed it a bit. Because what I want to do is do that. Go hard about. Because right now they're nipping at my heels. Fortunately, just using bow chasers. My formation is moving fast enough. But if I can do this then their ships end up sailing into my starboard batteries. By the looks of it, some of the ships are pretty knackered. And while the firing range of brown shots may be not excellent, by the time my entire formation has made this loop, then they'll have caught up. By the looks of it, oh yeah, they're going at a steady old pace. Let's see how this gets on. Hmm. Oh god, that freaked out, didn't it? Be 
And they are chasing me, which is not ideal. But by the looks of it, some of their ships may get into that firing position of my ships. Which is pretty much what I wanted. These tiny little 122 gun ship of the line. I go long broadside against this frigate. These frustrating little swines. Two speed. So that frigate's going to get a lot of shots poured on it because it's going to be one of the only targets most of my ships can actually see. But I'll take the uh, take the implication because at least it means it's not engaging any of my other ships. And eventually they will. You know, to think they would fail. See, it's, oh, it's a concern to dismasted, but they're not dismasted. Not yet. Saint, Saint Felipe. It's probably going to sink, unfortunately, before the battle is over. Say the V. Hems the brakes. Yeah, this little frigate's still firing his chain shot, so if, if Scipion gets within range, they might be able to get a cheeky dismast. To be honest, I might actually just do this. I think it's annoying little swine. So let's see. If we're just sailing in the way of it, like what they're doing to me. Might be the point at which the formation breaks off. I just do this. Begin just to turn to face. Well, to be honest, it is. Even though it's not going to be ideal, it's going to be into the wind and lots of terribleness, they will still. I'll be able to get my ships within a ter in a firing position at least. In some way. So you, Dolphin, you look pretty sad for yourself, actually. So you are... Is, see, is Scipion out of range? It shouldn't be. So actually, you can just drop anchor, because you're within range. ship can interfere with theirs enough. At least this guy, when he comes around to the right, should be able to fire onto this frigate. Excellent. i got ships are engaging you. Spin around. You span around too far. You need to rotate. Dropping, because you're in a good firing position. One of our ships is destroyed from the fight. Which one? Ah, oh, my tiny little frigate. Fair enough. They are getting engaged by an awful lot of ships.
There you go, this French 74 is getting a pummeling. No, nope. they're out of range of chain. I don't drop anchor, but you know. So I know I'm sailing into the wind, but not really got much of a choice. For lots of these ships, I'm trying to make them turn on the spot. <laughs> Good. They're getting to the point of having to fire broadsides into their own ships. Should have had this guy firing chain shot a long time ago. You're in a good spot for Aquilion. Go on, dismast him. Is the main mist gone? Don't like the odds of this third rate. It's getting within a, getting into a, it's getting into a shooting war with their flagship. Ah, this ship has returned. So you spin around, start firing broadsides. You probably, to be honest, most of these guys may as well start trying to go in this direction. Man your guns! Well, how many ship guns do you have? Two cannons to the right. Just a just a broadside sort of three guns. Scipion is going to get some good shots against my third rate, right in the rear. So everyone come about. So I'm not dismastered her, but I will. My fifth rate's come back. Although you're looking mighty unhealthy. God, look at his poor seventh rate ship of a lion. <laughs> Just got utterly dismasted. There you go, this chap's about to spin around. He's not going to fire at this ship, thankfully. He is going to fire at the French flagship. Take our mast. Yeah, you may as well fire that frigate if you can. It's my 58, it's got some shots onto him, but it's not gonna do the trick. Yes, there we go. Main must down. To be honest, you can just weigh anchor and just fire with fire with your regular guns as much as you can from that position. See with this guy if I can make him turn against the wind. Need another broadside from my from Nelson no less. Someone's ringing the bell, but it's not really for me. I actually might go check it. Just one sec, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Turns out it was for me. Yeah, Shannon's getting some shots into Scipion.
There you go, my big slab sided killers are getting into position. Echo still got a good position. You don't so much, so you may as well sail on around Echo and keep firing. Shannon's going to lay ahead. She's wavering. In which case, Ken Nelson, you can just spin around and start trying to focus on this pesky. There we go. The Admiral is routing. Villeneuve has lost his will to fight. Surrender, you scurvy dog. Drop your colours. Surrender. Yes! French ship of the line surrendered. Let's focus our efforts onto this blackguard. So it's a, gun, it's a frigate, she's been dismasted, so she should be a bit slow. Let's rotate uh, Shannon into position, fire a broadside into the rear. Hell, you try to board if you would like. And switch to chain shot, because if you got bow chasers... You do, she has a pair of... Cannons that fire forward, so at least if I turned around to chain shot, these guys will fire chain shot forward. And then let's speed up time, because ultimately, what do we expect to happen here? Boom! Continue, because I do not want... If possible, I'd like to capture the ship, and I think I will, because we're chasing up. Getting up behind her, we're firing our bow, bow chaser cannons in ready to rock and roll. Switch to grape shot actually, because if she Well, I don't I never really I never really fire grape shot, so I might just fire it. 76 crew. 72 crew. 71, 70. There we go. Oh, 31 guns are reloaded. If I fight a broadside right now, that would be devastating. Let's watch a bit of a ship battle. So we're hauling her in. There we go. <laughs> These guys are freaking out. Sweet. So there's the French fleet. First rate to Nelson's fleet is my tier one fleet, and then the smaller ships I can disperse around a second backup. Oh, not so many as I thought. Still, get the first rate ship of the line, 74 gun, uh, Aquilion, and the Junior. So let's get those to our fleet. And the one thing I am going to do is to recognise the fact that this is a capital ship captured by us, or she will be the HMS Sibio. Union, I'm not so bothered about it. It's just the capital ships, the big ones, the big fighters. They're the ones I want the most. Okay, so let's get the two, the two frigates to join up in Chatham Docks. Well, actually, no. Run into Portsmouth because you're exposed. No funds to repair. Let's, uh, let's scoot this fleet off to Portsmouth so I can get Nelson in Bristol. There you go, nice little backup fleet. A couple of frigates and some fifth rate ships of the line. Excellent. And then that's solved our money problems mostly. Cool. And it also means that we've knocked out the French Navy. So we could sail down here and start trying to knock out some of these trade nodes. Um, but I'd like to, I'd still like to have a more powerful navy. But it's only two, two, um, two thingies till we can get there. The dry dock. Then we can start recruiting some bigger ships. So I might actually cancel that 58-gun frigate and actually set 
to recruit a merchantman in its place. Sweet. Alright. So looking at the timer, I think we've uh, that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed the naval battle. I've got a, I've got a bit better, <laughs> I like to think. Um, although the odds are stacked in our favour at the start of Empire the start of Napoleon, sorry. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed part two, and I will see you next time.